If you have your own website, you can make your own link tree for free. I'll show you how I made mine coming right up. Hey everyone, I'm Tiffany and I have a couple of YouTube channels, which means I'm doing all this stuff. I have a website, I have a blog, I have a couple of social media platforms I have to keep an eye on. I have Amazon storefronts and that means I have a ton of links. So recently, as you know, if you've been following my channel, subscribe please if you're interested. I have been documenting my recent journey on TikTok. Actually, it's the journey of me and my husband because our TikTok account, we started it up specifically to promote our home improvement YouTube channel, Hammer and Home. I also got really obsessed with that link in bio. As you know, on TikTok, you only get one. Also on Instagram too. I was checking out other TikTok accounts to see how they were using their link in bio because I just couldn't decide which was the right thing to link to. We have two Amazon storefronts because we are here in Canada. Quite a few of our followers are here in Canada, but lots of our followers are in the States. We want to make sure that we are making it easy for both our American and Canadian subscribers to shop. So at the very least, I had two links. That's dos. You might have been hip to this before, but I didn't know about Linktree until I started hawking other TikTok users' link in profile. <laughs> and I saw the handy dandy thing, whatever you want to call it, when you click the link in profile and then it goes right over to someone's link page. Then I noticed that watermark, Linktree, or whatever brand the person was using. Now a paid subscription will get that brand gone, but will it still really be in the branding style that works best for you? Aren't we all just inundated with subscriptions right now? I mean, in my household, we can't get rid of our iTunes and our Spotify and our gazillion music accounts to save our lives. And that's just one niche of subscriptions. So Linktree subscription, and no. It didn't take me too long to go, hey, wait a minute, I could just build a page on our website. At first I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll make this a hidden URL so that it's specifically for TikTok users. I could welcome them. But then I thought, ah, this will work for Instagram. And you know what? Maybe people even surfing the website would like a handy place to find links out to our other offerings. So I made it visible. You know, when tens of thousands of people are looking at your TikTok videos, chances are good some of them are going to check out your bio. And then chances are still good that some of them are going to click that link in profile. So why limit it to just one destination? One of the main reasons to do it yourself is that you are in control. You're not farming this out to a third party who may or may not stick around in the long run. The other thing is you got all your analytics in one place. I don't know about you, but I am so sick of clicking and opening windows and closing windows. I must have a hundred windows open at any time to see my analytics and see how things are going. All right, so come with me to the back end of my WordPress account and I will show you the super simple way I created my own link tree. So here we are in the WordPress account for my website, Hammer and Home. If you're starting from scratch, you would add new and you don't have to call it links. You can call it anything you want. You could call it TikTok or whatever. I already have one going on, so I'm going to go to all pages. And I'm using the free Ash theme, and it's a little bit weird, so when I put a title in, it shows at the top of the page, and I can't figure out how to get rid of it. So this page is not titled, and I just remember it can see as soon as I add a title in there it just shows up on the page and I don't like how it looks but in the meantime I have this page that I have created that is not supposed to be there yet um, I will remove that block this corresponds from the link I have up on TikTok and it goes directly to this page I have added these buttons I've kept it very simple I just have a center alignment I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it these days in WordPress one of the options for building Building is to use blocks and that's how I'm doing it here. So here I can add a block. I search for a block. I've got lots of choices. I'm going to choose buttons and then here's this button over on the left. I don't like how it looks but let's just fill it out first so we remember what it is because we are turning this button into a live link to something. So I'm just gonna call this another Amazon 
store that I don't have, doesn't exist, but for the sake of this example. And then you have the opportunity to add a link and right in there, you add your Amazon URL and you also have the option to open it up in a new tab. That's always good. Anyhow, I don't have another link to put there right now, so I'm not going to do it. Aesthetics are always very important to me, so I'm going to go over here on the side and you can see that I prefer to use an outline and then I also prefer these things to be square. The larger the border radius is in here, the, the more rounded these things get. As soon as I click down to zero, it becomes a square. I also want to have center alignment so it looks good on that tall skinny phone page. So when I click out of it, when it's finished, that's when I've got the opportunity to change content justification. I choose center and it is done. We can also add a color there so it matches what I have above. And uh, let's see, we go to color settings and it's not the text color, I'm sticking with black, um, but the background color there, you have the option to custom color it. And what I usually do is I remember what I've got here. Uh, currently, that is this hex code. So I'm just gonna copy that and add it over to this one. No, I don't want that one. I'm going to paste the code I just copied, enter, and look, there it is. The easiest thing, of course, would have been to copy this whole button and paste it there, and then you've just gotta change the letters and, of course, change the link as well. That's all you do to create a link page of your own. Super easy. Update it to save it, and then I can show you what it looks like now from our TikTok page. Voila! Have you tried this yet yourself? How's your traffic doing coming over from TikTok or Instagram or the other channels? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And I will be posting a ton more content about my digital marketing journey and everything that goes with it. So consider subscribing to my channel. In the meantime, I will see you in the next video.